Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to part two of today's inner stage window, and we are going to be playing some more of our hardcore WoW Warlock run. I'm sure you can already hear it in the background. Let's go over. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Show them the game. Hello. There we go. Okay. So in between streams, of course, um, I did a lot of the things that I normally do. I, you know, worked on my professions just a little bit. I did, I did work on fishing quite a bit. Um, I have got made sure that my defense and stuff was like up. Okay. And then I went also to my trainer and, uh, and purchased the spells, purchased new spells. Um, also, lucky I hopped online and ran and hopped as I was running up just now um, in Orgrimmar to the uh, to the flight path to the wyvern to fly here to be ready. So so that happened. So that happened. Okay. Okay. So what we need to do? Well, I need health stuff first. Here's what we need to do, you guys. We need to uh, do these quests right here. So we're gonna LFG um, for this one and the Grim Totem Escort. Okay, because we're gonna need to do that. We're gonna need to do that. So let's hop down. Let's hop down and go over there and at least we can do some of the Grim Totem spying. Okay, why is Neon Cat still playing? Go away, Neon Cat. I love you, but oh, it's wow. Wow time, excellent. Also, I got some Cheetos. I went, I grabbed some Cheetos. But I thought that would be good. Some flame and hot Cheetos. I feel like Cheeto dust fingers goes with World of Warcraft. Like that's a pair. That's a, it's a good pairing. Okay, so we gotta go over here for the Grim Totems. So yeah, I did all those things. I got, I just got Rend. I'm so, I'm excited. I was not expecting to play today with Rend. So, um, very happy for that. Thank you, whoever dropped. Oh, come on, turn around. There we go. Get stuck on terrain. I was just trying to open my Cheetos. Can't believe I'm still alive, y'all, for real. Cannot believe it. Hopefully I'm not on like a, um, on a bad layer. And when I walk up there, I'll see people up there. Hopefully. We'll find out soon. awesome. Well, they're all the way back there. We gotta get up. We also gotta climb up this thing without falling. <laughs> big challenge, big challenge. Someone's clearly been here. The mobs are not here. They're normally patrolling. They're normally like walking all along these bridges. 
my new friend. Another bye. Get something first. I have to go collect our person. Okay, the warrior needs some help getting here. So we're gonna go back and collect him. We can definitely do it with three, and we can do the escort with three too. going over there.
Oh, they're really close. Okay, so we can run back up soon. Oh, it's all undeads. Oh my gosh, we're all undeads. Second party. So I hope everybody that celebrates for Thanksgiving has some really nice Thanksgiving plans planned. <laughs> um, my parents are coming into town. Things I want to do, in addition to, of course, just eating a lot of food, is uh, putting up the Christmas tree. I'm hoping since they're here, we can all kind of put up the Christmas tree and Christmas decorations together. I think that would be super fun. And while they're here, I want to go see the new Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes movie. Uh, I loved the book. And I know that my parents liked the original Hunger Games. I don't know if they read the new book. I'll have to ask them. But I'm hoping we can go see the new movie. Um, with COVID and everything, I had kind of stopped like, going to the movies. You know what I mean? So, but we loved, used to love to go to the movies together. Um, my parents, that was like a... Still recharging. So, you know, I'm losing. I'm looking forward to the movie. It's gotten good reviews so far, so I'm hoping it's going to be good. But we'll have an episode about that, so I'll tell you guys all of my thoughts. be nice and i'm looking forward to three days off heck yeah if nothing else three days off right haven't been to the movies in years the movie that got me to go again was era's movie in fnaf right that's what i'm like hoping ballad of songbirds and snakes does for me you know gets me back in interested in movies or going to the movies because i still have a big interest in movies i still watch them at home all the time just don't go I'm hoping to have a lot of fun. Like I have high speed. Yeah, sorry friends. Boy Walker is a shit tank. It does not hold threat. But we did the quest! Yay! Escort time. <clears throat> I've been watching Hallmark Christmas movies at home lately. I love them. Oh my gosh, yes. Hallmark movies are such a good, like, guilty pleasure, you know? Like, legit. They're so good. have to do the quest, okay.
Okay, now we're all done. That's so silly that it just didn't count when I did it. for the escort now because it just walked by us. Okay, so now we wait. We'll just we'll just hang out. We'll just hang out and chit chat <laughs> while we wait for this guy to spawn the escort to spawn again. Yeah, I kind of want to see um, maybe when it comes out on streaming. I gotta go look. I kind of am a little bit interested in seeing eras. Um, not really FNAF, but I'm a little bit interested in seeing eras. So I might watch that at home at some point. is running already. These little Cheetos. gonna do I'll do the notes while we wait for the escort because we'll have the notes quest hopefully by the time we get back the escort is up and no one has um taken it from us <laughs> no one's come and sniped the next escort The notes are easy, by the way. We're doing this as a group just to waste time, but like, you do not need a group for the notes. You can totally solo them. In fact, I didn't think I was gonna find a group so fast for the elite, so I thought I was gonna have to do the notes while I was kind of waiting for someone to respond to doing the elite and the escort. Secret note one. <clears throat> Got him. <coughs> Watch us do this and then it won't be spawned by then. Cause that's the thing about the escorts. The escorts in the in classic, like um 
they will not respawn until the escort is completely finished by the other people that are doing it. Like, literally, the NPC just won't double spawn. Oh, someone already cleared this house out. Lucky. down that is. I could just jump. I could just end it all. I could end the, the hardcore. Right now. Right here. Oh, this spawn. He's always like in the he's always like in the um, ground. I swear I've seen that so many times. They can get it done, man. We do, we do, we do. So last night I finally finished season three of The Boys. Y'all, that show is so good. Why did I sleep on it? Just because I thought the first two episodes were a little bit slow and boring? Man, I missed out. But I'm caught up now. I'm caught up now. And I'm reveling with y'all. Season two especially was so good. The girls get it done. That whole like team of the second season. So I mean, not that like everyone. Has to you know what I'm saying? Best antagonist. Best antagonist. Love, love. I guess Huey, but not really. <laughs> not really. He makes a lot of mistakes too. But his heart's in the right place. He got he he got good first principles, you know. He got good first principles. But, uh, first. <laughs> yeah. Ford ain't got no respect. That's the person that needs to do the flame. I don't know where they're going. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Clicky, your thing, dude.
don't know. He's confused. He can't do it. I don't know what's up. Sorry, dude. Try to help you. Very huge. <laughs> Lunar, I just realized I forgot to do your pin. We'll have to do it in a minute. up earlier. I will fix that after this S4. Come on, boss. Mr. Arnak. He should pop any second. He's a... He has a normal spawn timer. Yeah, I just realized I forgot it. I meant to do it before I loaded up the game, but then I loaded up the game while y'all was on the BRB screen, and I got rinned, and I was, like, so excited that I was like, oh, shoot. I completely forgot that I intended to do the pin first. I got your turkey die cut on my wall for y'all. Thank you. I think those are so cute, Lunar. Those are so cute. For real. <coughs> She trap by Arnak, that bitch. <laughs> She's not a grim to it, and she doesn't want to be here. <laughs> this warrior says, If we had a healer, we could run RFK. True, we could, but also, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Arnak. <laughs> Arnak, come back. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god, his buddy spawned. Where's he? What? I'm here. my lip just trying to get that last bit of LaCroix. Why did I go for it? I should have just thrown it away. Sometimes you just gotta let those chips at the bottom go. That's not the line. It's something like that. Hard to reach chips go? Something. The boss took uh, any different spawn camera than his buddies, but dang, they all spawned, he did it yet. Here he is. Hey, Arnett. Oh, buddy, old pal. That's my old pal. Looks good. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> okay, let's escort your, uh, <clears throat> your prisoner. You can stop crying. We're gonna get you to safety now, babe. Forsaken are so cool. Like, look at how fucking cool we are. We're so emo. We're so punk rock. We're the best. Target. <laughs> See, you don't even have to deal with these. Oh, wait. No. I thought you didn't need to deal with any of these. Sorry. I made you promises I didn't keep them. I forgot that, uh, that more spawns when you're on the escort. Which is what makes it not so lovable, by the way.
my talents off stream too. So this is what I've got. These in Affliction and these in Demonology. Again, I think my camera's blocking some of it. Oh no, it's not. It's not. I haven't gotten that deep into the tree yet. elevator because of the horde guards like right there. I'm going to get to laugh all day at that. huge even though he left party he could have done the escort with us at least or maybe he already did it maybe that's why he left he didn't care if we weren't going to do the elite some pep in that step. We are almost there. Okay, done. Horde, get it done, y'all. Horde, get it done. Okay, or Forsaken, get it done. Forsaken, get it done. Okay, let's go turn in. We got a turn in there. We got some turn ins at Free Wind. Okay, and I don't think it's gonna pop up for us to do it, but we're gonna do Test of Lore as well. We are gonna do Test of Lore. I had thought that the next step on this was Scarlet Monastery, but there's actually a couple of steps 
Um, before you get to Scarlet Monastery, we're going to go back to Ashenvale. I had totally forgotten about this step when we picked up the quest last stream. Um, but uh, after thinking about it, I remembered. So we're gonna go do that. I'm gonna show y'all like a really cool like lore area of the game that I think is like so super neato. Sisters, watch over you. It's not an upgrade. Not Farewell. Upgrade. All right. Um, I actually want to check. Want to check my microphone settings also. Give me one second to open this. I knew it. Check. Check. Okay. I knew it looked weird since I loaded the game, like it wasn't doing right. Okay, I think my levels are better now. All right, do, 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 um, okay. Ooh, travel to Shimmering Flats? Oh, and then travel to, okay, I see what it's saying. We're gonna go to Shimmering Flats, pick up the quest, go to Gadget's Inn, pick up the flight path and then fly back to free wind and turn in. Okay, we can do all that before we do test of lore. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing that I did off stream was I picked up um, the this warlock quest that was in Orgrimmar. So I did grab that. Uh, this one, I think, yeah. Yeah, because I already had this one. I grabbed this one. And you get that from um, the warlock trainers down in uh, Orgrimmar. Man, 32. I feel like we're like so we're getting so close to 40 that we might actually make it to 40. That would be so cool. Like, beyond my wildest expectations of myself <laughs> and my abilities. But you know, I love Warlock. I love Warlock. So I guess if I'm going to do it any on anywhere, it's going to be Warlock. I bet, the, I bet the guide's not going to have us do test of lore, even though it's in my quest log. And the reason why is because you do have to do some running back and forth between um, Stone Talon and Ashenvale. But it's worth it, because this is the only chance as Horde you would go into this one little area that's, like, really cool. Lore-wise, is really cool. <clears throat> so for Turkey Day for turkey day we are actually not having a turkey this year is there anybody else that like doesn't always have turkey on turkey day we normally we normally do but sometimes we don't so we chose this year we're gonna do a ham we have a ham and for veggies we're gonna have brussels sprouts and some spinach we're gonna have some couscous we're gonna have mashed potatoes and gravy some dinner rolls some um what else oh squash casserole we're gonna have squash casserole and we're gonna make a bunch of chess pies bunch of chess pies which if you've never had a chess pie they are delicious usually citrus flavor but I guess you could really make them any flavor because it's just kind of like a basic pie recipe that you put whatever flavor you want into it but usually we would have like lemon or orange so we're gonna do that we have all the traditional food turkey day it's Christmas we do something different yeah that makes sense and normally we do have a turkey on turkey day like Levi will smoke one or fry one but 
It's just, we've had turkey so many times in a row that we want to do something a little different this year. So we're having a ham. And turkey can be a lot of work also. Um, just because it's such a big bird, it can dry out so easily. I don't know what meat we're doing for Christmas, but past several years we've done prime rib. I don't know if we'll do that again, if we'll do something different this Christmas. We'll have to see. Well, how do y'all do your turkey, Lunar? You just do an oven, traditional turkey? You ever do a fried turkey? Those are so good. We've done fried turkeys for a couple times and it's delicious. You gotta be careful though. Turkey fire fires are a real thing. A real, real thing. If y'all fry a turkey this year, do so outside. Don't be stupid and try to fry it in the garage. And also, that max fill line that the bucket has for the oil, don't go, don't go over that. It's there for a reason. Okay, it's there for a reason. And if you have a really big turkey, you should not even reach the fill line. Okay, you should never, not even reach the fill line. Be careful. The turkey takes up mass, so don't fill up the whole freaking pot. Like a, like a dummy. Okay? Which I know is easy to do, because we already drink in. <laughs> So we're all a little bit dummies. Oven style, never had a fried turkey. Oh my god, they're so good, Lunar. They're so good. I, an oven turkey, um, I like it if it's done right, but so many people mess it up. So I'm usually not a super fan of an oven turkey. Like, you have to have the gravy and cranberry sauce and all of that because <laughs> most of the time out the oven, it turns out so dry. But some people can do it really good. Like, I've had oven ones that were really good before, too. So don't get me wrong. Um, but a lot of people mess them up. Oh, our wren's about to be done. At least we got to use it for the Grim Totem. And it's nice there's enough 60s that we're getting wrens and, and hakars and stuff. Like, that's really nice. Hardcore has been like so popular, it's crazy. Shimmering flats. This big old salt flat. This area, the Shimmering Flats, is like so beautiful to me. I know it's like really plain looking, but it's like beautiful in this in this kind of like minimalistic way uh, that I really like. And I like the look of the, the turtles here. I like how everything's kind of like washed out a little bit, you know? Like the turtles look really sparkly. Like they got the diamond shells. Oh, those crazy goblins and gnomes doing all their racing. All right, we need... Wants us to get rocket car parts and wharf master dizzywig. Okay. Those should be right over here. Greetings. All right, Ethan. Pleased to meet you. Not those, huh? Be seeing you. What's this one? You got my attention. Oh, here we go. Watch Rocket your back. Parts. Work master good. Wig. Okay. Off with you. Oh, now it does say get these. Hi, how are you? Hey. All righty then. I see how the guide's tell not telling us to get the nesting weary quest, so it must not want us to go to Stranglethorn quite yet, thank god. Cause who wants that? Not me. I don't need that kind of drama in my life. Keep it real.
but these are all the quests that we'll actually do in Shimmering Flats. Probably later on. Mid-30s instead. A couple of levels, well, I bet it'll have us come back here and do these. The winds guide you. Okay. Let's go back down to Gadgetzan. Like, look at how pretty this turtle is. Sparkle shell. Like, look at that. Like, I know it's just WoW graphics. You have to use your imagination a little bit, but like, yeah. Like, imagine, like, it would be like diamond sparkly. And I do have my settings turned down to kind of keep, make sure performance stays good. So they look prettier when you turn the settings all the way up. But I don't want to have no frame rate issues. I already got frame rate issues when we go to Ashenvale, which we are gonna end up, gonna do this stream, so. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. See, Stranglethorn Vale, this person. This 47. Dangerous place. Salt Flats to the Desert of Tanneris. Why you gotta be that scary music? It's just Tanneris. Calm down. Okay, we're gonna grab this flight path and fly back Speak, over to... Friend. Go. Then we'll go do test of lore. <clears throat> I think the easiest way to do test of lore will be to fly to Splinter Tree and Ashenvale and then run through the tunnel back towards Stone Talon, because that's where we need to go. We need to go to that um that spot in Stone Talon. I don't know. Let me look at the map. What would be faster? What would be faster? Okay. We're trying to go here. Would it be faster to fly here and run this way? Or fly here and... I feel like it's kind of splitting the difference. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we fly to Sunrock Retreat so we have like a... We go this way and then just scoot on over to Ashenvale. So we're not backtracking back and forth so much. We could look at some different scenery. Some different pretty scenery. I love those areas. And I think this is actually... Like I thought we were done with Ashenvale before, but I think this is actually the last quest that we will do in Ashenvale. Because I just forgotten it existed. But now I remember. Shoulders? Is that an upgrade? Walk with the earth. I don't know if I was supposed to accept that because that's in Desolus. I might end up having to drop it because I might get my what quest log filled up before I go here. 
What with the earth moving? Let's see. Switch them. Okay. Okay, it says fly to crossroads, but we are actually going to fly to um, Stone Talon. Ah, I've been expecting you. Do I have to you. go through crossroads to get to Stone Talon? I do. So I might as well fly to crossroads first. Walk. It's going to make me go there anyways. have alliance relations and I train my class spells okay. trying to uh, plan to get my plan of attack together okay so we will fly to crossroads and accept the swarm grows Then we might as well go over to Ratchet for those, because I put a couple turn-ins there. Wait, why did my questy reset? And it's showing me it's showing me dungeon quests again. Questy, why? Okay, that fixed it. I just had to toggle them back on and off. Funny. Because I know, like, after we're in Orgrimmar, like, this ends, and I guess it was going to load another one. But um, I'm pretty confident that that one's going to send us back over to Eastern Kingdoms. The next one's going to send us back over to Eastern Kingdoms. So we'll do Test of Lore before we go back there. Oh, Crossroads, how I love you. And this is what's great about Classic. So this, you would think like you're done, you're done with the Barons, but there's this higher level quest that you can only, you accept in the Crossroads, which is a much lower level, you know, hub than where we are right now in the 30s. And yet this is a quest for your 30s. Like the main character in Classic is the world. And that's what's so beautiful about it. I just love that so much. Oh, oh. All right, let's make a quick, quick pit stop over in Ratchet. Oh, the whore. Very quick. Bags are not that full. Okay.
up, Ratchet? Master, I'm back. We've talked a few times. Time is money, friend. I'm here again. Have a good one. Be good. All right, we're going to run up here. Oh, wait. This is the wrong way. Wrong way, wrong way. You got to go up the other way. This is the way. <clears throat> Hello. Farewell. I Take found you. you. Have a good time. Oh, this is for those robes. Okay, okay. A tailor can make robes of arcana. I'm a tailor. I gotta go see what skill that is. I might not be skilled up enough. My tailoring is so behind. I just have not been getting enough wool drops. I was able to get my um, first aid that fixed with wool but i still need a little bit more wool for my tailoring i need like one more point to do be doing um silk so it's so uh oh uh -oh. okay i miss money friend let's go to sunrise right back Did not mean to hit the microphone there. Sorry if that made a loud noise. So I will tell you guys also um, that next weekend, since it's right after Thanksgiving, I don't know if I'm streaming or not. Um, if I do stream, we'll do more Hardcore WoW to try to get as many streams of that as we can in before Season of Discovery drops, because I'm definitely going to be streaming season, season of Discovery when that drops, like hella. So if I do end up streaming next weekend, it's just going to be Hardcore the whole time. But I don't know, and I traditionally do not stream the weekend after Thanksgiving because it just doesn't work out that way. There's usually just like other family stuff to do, you know? But I will update the Discord um, whether I'm streaming or not, and I'll let y'all know. I'll update on Blue Sky as well. So there those are. So you can go there and know. You can look. <clears throat> and that's both that's for both Saturday and Sunday next week. So definitely no 10 2 next week if we stream.
but there is Tentu tomorrow. Okay, time to test our lore. I'm gonna run over to the guy. Oh, I need my blueberry first. Can't be without the blueberry. There we go. I'm now complete. Okay, we're gonna just try to beeline. We're gonna try to beeline as much as we can to the guy. This uh, this Torin guy, he just kind of lives by himself in this little this little hut. It's very cute how he's uh, out in the country like this. Not a camp around him. You know, it probably was all wooded in this area before the goblin showed up and started um, logging. So he's probably pretty unhappy at the current state of his home. It's kind of like how um, near our house they cleared a bunch of land to build some condos. So we do not have uh, a view of the woods that we used to have, which is really sad. But I also knew it would happen when we moved here. Like this area is just like popping so much. I knew they would end up clearing that land. So it's not surprising, but it's still a little sad. Whee! Uh. But that's probably how he feels. And he never even expected it. Just all of a sudden, the trees were disappearing around him. So we're going to go talk to him and hang out and see how he's doing. And he's uh, he's got some lore tests for us. Which is good, because we're lore nerds, so we, we got this. Oh no! Ripperoni, friend. Ripperoni.
Okay, he's back here somewhere. It's close to where that tunnel is. Oh. In the wrong alcove, it's the next little alcove. Almost. I see the question mark now. I knew I was walking too close to that guy. Okay, let's kill the spider. I would have left you alone, friend. I would have left you alone. But you insisted. Okay. This hut right here, where he lives by himself. Hello, Brog. Greetings. How are you? Traveler. Go in peace. We shall meet again. Okay, so I have to go find him a very special book. This very special book is in Ashenvale. So we gotta go through the path and we gotta go um, into this house in Ashenvale. So, um, once again, we're going to hope that I don't run into the giant tree that can kill me. So, pray for no trees. Well, pray for no giant walking trees. <laughs> there were there are many trees in Ashenvale that cannot be avoided, but uh, no giant walking trees that will kill me. Once we get to the right area, it's no big deal. But we gotta get there. We gotta get to this over to the splinter tree area. What is it, Queen? You sending me good vibes for no giant trees? Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Come here. Come here, I'll give you some pets. I can't really look though, because I gotta watch out for giant trees. Trying to pet this kitty cat <laughs> while paying rapt attention to where I'm walking. Meow meow, queen, meow meow. Is that better? Give them these give, give these guys a wide berth. Don't get too close. I do love Ashenvale though, the music. The look, the vibe, it's so beautiful. 
That's part of why I'm so excited for Seasons of Discovery, because, like, Ashenvale's gonna be the in-game zone for a minute during the first phase, which is, like, the coolest fucking thing ever. Like, Ashenvale really should be. Because it feels, like, when you're playing Horde, this feels like, oh, I'm encountering the enemy for the first time when you come here to Ashenvale. That's what it feels like. So it's gonna be so cool. We gotta run all the way over to this little area right here that we never even really went into. And once we get there, you guys will see why this little area is so cool and I'll explain it to you, lore-wise, like what's happening. But it's, it's, really, it's really unique, I would say, compared to other areas in the game. Which is something that was so fun about Classic that we lost when Cataclysm came. The like really like uniquely flavored areas. What's up, my dude? So many Forsakens. We're seeing so many Forsakens today. Master Race Forsakens. We love them. I'm definitely like really enjoying playing the Forsaken Warlock, even though like Blood Elf was my love, you know? Um, obviously they're not in real Classic. But I'm really loving it. Like, I'm excited for having my um, Warlock for Season of Discovery be uh, Forsaken. I've, like, really grown to love her, like, run and her voice and everything. My little emo. You got a mount. I want mount. Someday. Watch out for those sneaky shadow night elves. Want to stab us? They'll regret it though, because we'll just kill him. me. This was unnecessary. Okay, where's the entrance to the house? Is like up here somewhere, I think. No, no, this is the logging area. Okay. Where? This way. Ah, there it is. There it is, there it is. Okay. 
So see what's cool about this? There's like these Forsaken walking around and there's these sleepers. Okay, so the sleepers are hostile to us. We do have to kill them, so we are gonna kill them as we run down this area. Um, but the Forsakens and the sleepers don't attack each other, which is kind of crazy. So here's the lore of what's going on in this area and why it is like it is. So this, uh, this den here, um, Dor Dan Elbaro Den, a bunch of druids, oh, I feel like my game's not just out from my explaining this, let me turn this down. Um, oh, no, okay, there we go. I feel like y'all can hear me better now. So this area, um, is where a bunch of druids went to sleep for the Emerald Dream. And so that's why there's all these sleeper druids running around. Now the Forsaken found these guys, and they decided to start doing experiments on them where they severed them from the dream. So very, very creepy stuff. Very, very creepy stuff. And um, that's why you've got all these Forsaken running around in here. And you'll see as we go down, there continues to be Forsaken. Continues to be Forsaken deep inside of this, this little cave area. In addition to these sleepers. But since we're Horde, the Forsakens don't attack us. Only the sleepers do. And... For the Forsaken, these sleepers are just experiments, you know, so they're not really attacking them. They're like observing what happens when they se sever the, uh, the dream from these druids. Like, that's what they're doing. So it's like just really freaking cool that something like this would exist. Oh, I didn't need to open the bag. I don't like how much damage that spell does to me. I'm gonna have to send in Tongvong first. And I think Alliance has quests down here too, where they actually go and uh, and kill the, the the bosses of this area. But um, but we don't as Horde. We just have this test of lore. We have to go get a book. So we're just gonna walk down until we find the book. But the layout of this is is the same as any other night elf like area. So it's the same as the den that we were in before, and you know all that stuff. We've been here, so we know the layout and how it works. pet to sleep? You put Tong Vong to sleep? That is so rude. 
don't worry, Tong Vong. I waited for you to wake up. I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink while you sleep. Alright, we're almost to the book, you guys. Almost there. It's just in the next room. Okay, here we go. Here's the book. Alright. Now we have to go back to our friend in Stone Talon. And because he's not near a flight path or anything, I think it's going to be fastest just to run back as opposed to hearthing and flying or anything of that nature. So we're just gonna walk back. Enjoy the scenery. So yeah, now you have context for this little, like, camp right there, that Forsaken camp, that we used when we killed Sharp Talon. Which, there's Sharp Talon, we're not gonna kill him again. <laughs> but yeah. Now you know. Oh my god. They're just gonna run away, there's no point. So yeah, this quest is a little out of the way, but if you want to do all the Scarlet Monastery quests, then you have to do it. And a lot of people, you know, Scarlet Monastery, very popular dungeon, so a lot of people would want to collect the quests. So you got to do all of these tests to finally get to the Scarlet Monastery step. Now we will get to the Scarlet Monastery step, but then I'll drop the quest at that point. We're not going to do it. We haven't been doing any dungeons, so I don't see why we need to start now. <laughs> not doing dungeons has been a really good strategy for staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. 
staying alive. So what we're going to do is just do this up to the point where it's going to send us to Scarlet Monastery Library, and then we're not going to go. We're going to drop it. But if you're like playing more normally where you do do all the dungeons and the quests in the dungeons and stuff, like normally I would do that if it wasn't hardcore, um, then you would want to do this quest. Little bit farther before we turn. All right, we're going to turn here and head down to the Talon Deep Path. And hope we don't see the tree. <laughs> Please don't be here, tree. Don't be here. You be where, wherever else you want to be, but not in my face. Hello, how are you doing today? <laughs> uh. I love that screamer. <gasps> hydrate? Okay. Thank you so much for the hydrate M&M. I'm going to do that right now. I did need it. I was kind of dry. But not anymore. I'm poor now. <laughs> I doubt it. I, you're in here all the time and lurk a lot and stuff too. I bet you have lots and lots of points. Okay, we made it back to the Talon Deep Path um, without encountering the tree. So we should be safe. Go talk to our friend again. That lives in his little cabin in the middle of nowhere. Poor guy lost his forest. You know what I hadn't seen pop up 
on the on this the rest of the XP guide in a long time. You know, in, in the early levels, there was a lot of like where it was popping up doing logout skips, and I would never do them, but it was constantly popping up saying to do them. And I haven't seen that for several levels now. So that's interesting. I wonder if they took them out. If they took the logout skips out of the guide. Or if there just like isn't as many good ones once you get up to higher levels that help you skip around. Because I don't think logout skips are like TOS appropriate. Like I'm pretty sure they're against TOS. So it was always kind of funny that they were in the guide. I heard the entire series of Arrow and all the X-Men movies and the Deadpool movies and Spider-Verse movies and Spider-Man movies. Oh my god, Eminem, you're going to have the most amazing holiday. Is that for um, Black Friday sales? Okay, so we're back at our friend, okay, and he actually will ask you questions about this book. So if you didn't read it, you are kind of screwed, okay? Here we go. We have to answer his question. Um, which of the aspects created by the Titans became the nefarious creature known as Deathwing? Neltherion is the answer. Okay, that is Deathwing. This should be obvious, but back in Classic, a lot of us didn't really know the Warcraft lore. And if you give the wrong answer, it teleports you all the way to Camp T. So it sends you all the way to Camp Toralho. So you definitely want to answer the right Walk answer. The so Earth yes, Mother. this is correct. And then when you talk Peace to him again, friend. you turn it in. Don't try to answer again. Okay, and then he sends you to Undercity. So there we go. So we're actually going to hearth at this point, and then we're going to fly um, to Orgrimmar. So that we're not running around so much. So we're going to hearth and then fly. I know my hearth's not at the best spot for this, but it still will be faster. All for $100. Holy shit, you got a lot for $100, Eminem. You got a lot. And some of those are really good. Like, I love the um, the Spider-Man movies and Spider the Spider-Verse. I didn't see the second one yet, but that first Spider-Verse movie was so good. Peace, like, so, friend. so good. All right, we're going to fly all the way up to Orgrimmar. It's only going to take five minutes and 30 seconds. But that's some nice deals. You know, I've noticed this year that Black Friday deals... Um, aren't waiting. They're not just doing like one day or just the weekend. It's kind of like starting now and like going like the whole week, you know, so it's not so condensed, which I do think is better. Black Friday back in the day used to be legitimately dangerous, you know, <laughs> um, like, you know, in Rocco's Modern Life, he would be like garbage day. It's a very dangerous day. Well, it was literally like Black Friday is a very dangerous day. Only it was real. It was real. And uh, and things happened. So I do like the more spread out now. And I think, I mean, I shop online more so. Cyber Monday lasting all this time is really good. I got to think about what I want to get for um, for my husband for Christmas. I need, I need good gift ideas for a boy that already has everything and likes video games and cooking. So I have to think of some good Christmas gift for him. It takes five days, though. Oh, to ship it? To ship it to you, it takes five days? That makes sense. Yeah. Because if I order something that's from, like, Europe or Asia or whatever, it takes forever to get here. Yeah. Yeah, international shipping is a beast. Oh, my God. And it's so expensive. So expensive. So I'm in here in the U.S. We're having um, Thanksgiving on Thursday. So we're going to have a, a big old meal and we've got some days off of work. Um, it's very nice. I took the whole week off, so I don't got to go back into work at all until next Monday. I thought you were single. Damn, Eminem, you lie. You lie. You did not think that. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Lunar. Thank you for the lurk. We love our lurkers here. Nobody thinks that. I got my wedding ring on every stream. If people think I'm single, they are blind. They got they got those um rose tinted glasses on, you know what I'm saying? Hope they're hopeful. <laughs> Not realistic. <laughs> So I'm very excited to have a whole week off of work. It's going to be really nice. Oh, 
Honestly, I'm blind. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You're not. You're smart. <laughs> Some people legit, though. Some people legit. Some people say the wildest things in my DMs. Honestly. <laughs> It's all good, though, y'all. I'm good at, at just, like, uh, if I see something in my DMs that's like, oh, that's out of pocket, I can just not respond, and then I, and I don't judge or anything. It's just, you know, I assume you're just shooting your shot. You're just shooting your shot, hoping. <laughs> you know. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott. I don't usually look at your fingers. Really? Oh, I have shorties right now, too. Also, I filed all my nails down. I filed them all down because it's like winter and it's hard to grow them. So there, I got shorties. I got shorties at the moment. I assume everyone just looks at my manicures, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the ring. I guess it's hard to tell on stream if that's my left hand or my right hand, but that's my left hand. And I know sometimes I flip the camera around depending on where I put it. I'll mirror it. But yeah. Man, if I was single, I would stream a lot more, let me tell you. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have so many responsibilities. And, like, I don't, um, I mean, I, I have, like, work friends somewhat. But most of my friends are internet friends. So, like, if I was single, I would stream a lot, lot more. You know? Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't care to, like, do other things, you know? That would not, not be a priority in my life. Sounds like you'll be single soon. Of course not. Absolutely the heck not. <laughs> that would be that would be like the most shocking uh, turn of events in my life. No, that will not happen. <laughs> One hundred percent no. I've been with my husband for um, gosh, since I was I met him when I was nineteen. Can you believe that? And I'm 20, <laughs> I said 20, I'm like 37 now. I think I'm 37. I'd have to do the math really quick. But yeah, so it'll be actually like 20 years that we've been together in not too long. We're ride or die. You're probably still 19. <laughs> Thank you, Eminem. Thank you. In my dreams. In my dreams. No, not really. If I had to pick an age, I would say like 25. 25 was a good age. Because I had a lot of smarts. Not as many smarts as I have now. I'm definitely way, you know, way more experienced at life now. Um, but I feel like that was a good balance between like uh, hotness and smartness was 25. Not that I would go back. I don't believe in repeating life. I don't want redos. I'm over 35. Me too. <laughs> me too, Eminem. Me too. It's so funny, though. I feel like um, people my age, like, have a certain look and, like, the next generation down, like Gen Z, they look old sometimes. Like, I see some Gen Zers and I'm like, you look like you're in your 30s. And they're not. They're like 20, yeah, they're like 25 or whatever, right? Go with honor. Okay. Okay, yeah, I knew it. It's time to leave Orgrimmar. It's time to go back to Eastern Kingdoms, y'all. Old man now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm old for the internet now. But you know what? I was on the internet when I was a kid. 
I'm gonna be an old person on the internet. It's just gonna be how it is. I'm gonna be one of those people that's like 50-something still on the internet. Still hanging out with you guys, doing what all the kids are doing. That's gonna be me. No shame, no shade. I just love the internet too much. You know, it doesn't matter to me. Maybe I don't fully understand the TikToks, okay? And all that. But that's okay. There's a lot on the internet for me still. Alright, everybody. We're gonna say, we're saying goodbye to Kalimdor for a little bit. We're gonna go over to Eastern Kingdoms. I would have guessed you were 23, though. Thank you so much, friend. <laughs> I think maybe just looking at me, you can say, like, well, and how I look on camera, okay, and not real life, right? But, like, as soon as I start talking and, like, the things that I, that I know and the things that I've experienced in the timeline of my life and talking about things like that, then there's, like, no way. It's, like, impossible, you know? Okay, and now we wait. Yeah, a 23-year-old doesn't know this much about Classic WoW unless they started playing, like, when it relaunched in 2019. You know? They weren't there. They weren't there. They don't know. Why are you inviting me to a group? Hey, lady. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, new best friend. Portal me instead of having to wait for the Zeppelin. You're the best. That was awesome. I've been terrified of my young self. He had his outburst. Oh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Alright, we got some turn-ins to do. <laughs> what do you All right. Watch your back. That was a warlock quest. Oh, that's donation. We don't need all that. Okay, we're gonna run through and go to the apothecarium for that other quest. And we need to grab to steal from thieves up here. It's, I think it's this one. Yeah, to steal from thieves.
What now? Okay, and then I think when we turn this into this guy, it's going to send us to Scarlet Monastery, so that's when we'll drop it. What is it? Trust no one. Beware. Victory this for Sylvanas. Is, yep, that's the Scarlet Monastery step. So we abandon. Okay. Um, train cooking for a quest later. We've already, we've got cooking. What is it? Oh, oh, okay. It's It wants us to get the soothing spices already for the turtle stuff later. Okay, so we're definitely going back to Hillsbrad. I got banned once because I wrote that a streamer was beautiful. You got to read the room, you know what I'm saying? You got to read the room. And I think it depends on, like, how much, like, weird encounters people have had. Like, they might just not have any tolerance for that sort of thing at all. I mean, because you've been in here enough, I'm sure you've seen me ban people for, like, certain lewd comments that I thought were, like, too much. Like, not appropriate. And I think everyone's got a different, like, threshold of that based on what they've experienced before. Cooking guys over here, I think. Oh, I fell. Right here. Oh no, this is the guild stuff. The cooking one's on the other side. And I think also the more that you talk to a streamer, Speak quickly. Um, and the more you get to know them, the more you can Farewell. say. <laughs> Uh, if, you know, like, I don't think you can say that, like, within the first couple of times of talking to a streamer. But I think after a while, you can s more likely say those things. Because you've gotten to know them, and they know your intentions, you know their intentions. Okay, so this says to fly to Terran Mill, but we are actually going to fly to the Sepulchre because we're going to do that quest. We're going to do that quest that we skipped that's just hanging out in our in our quest log um, right here. Right here. The Weaver that we skipped because we couldn't find anyone to do it with us, but now we're level 32 and we can definitely do this by ourselves. We do not need nobody. We can solo. understand that but still yeah so i'm a big believer in like this is true for anywhere on the internet this isn't just twitch but when you get banned from somewhere like i know a lot of people are like ban evasion's terrible yada yada blah blah whatever whatever uh so long as you're not ban evading simply to go back and make the exact same mistake you already did i don't think ban evading is actually a bad thing i think like it's totally fine if you get banned from somewhere to on a new account go back there and um just behave <laughs> just behave right like obviously they don't want compliments on their appearance so like if you go back under a new name like just don't do that you know what i'm saying like and i think for the most part that's okay now if you're talking about like really really tiny communities um you know or you're ban evading so that you can do things that you shouldn't be doing like you're ban evading to cause trouble or like so that you can repeat the same behaviors that got you banned in the first place like that's a problem but if you've realized like oh this is where i fucked up and i'm not gonna do it again like i don't think i don't think it's a big deal to like just go back on another account you know like obviously don't announce yourself like oh i'm the person you banned <laughs> but like just behave and i think most of the time that is totally fine to do because you've learned your lesson in that case, like that that behavior is not acceptable in that space, you know? And I don't think that's a big deal. Because I've experienced that, like people coming back after they've been, they've left or they've been banned or whatever. And so long as they do not repeat the behavior and they don't make it obvious that they're like, hey, 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 you banned me, but I'm back. <laughs> then like, I don't, I don't really care. I don't think it's harmful. I think it's okay to learn from your mistakes and do better next time. 
I know everyone doesn't feel that way, but that's how I feel. I can't bear to have a new account. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> I think if I was banned um, from a Twitch stream, there's like so many other streamers out there, I would probably just move on. I probably wouldn't try to go back. Cause it's not like, it's not like I can't find another streamer doing something really similar. That's the reasons why I watched the original one. There's just so many out there, it's fine. So yeah, for Twitch specifically, I probably also would not go back. Or probably, well, I probably would not make a new account to go back, you know. Oh, Vice Jaw. We're not gonna kill the rare, we're not gonna kill the rare. This is low level zone. We're only here because I can't stand not having this quest completed. <laughs> we're gonna finish it. We're gonna finish it. I never dropped it. I didn't. I couldn't. It was not in me to do such a thing. We're gonna get him this time. Because we can definitely take them. There's a lot of them in that house, but like, we're so over leveled, it's all good. We got this. I can imagine that many people who write a lot of crap, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And luckily, on the internet, at least this has been my experience, like, they're just words on a screen, so I don't find it too difficult to simply block people. You know. It's, it's not but i've never had an experience where i actually got like a true like deluge of hate or something like that i would get like the comment here or there or maybe a few comments at once if like some kind of incident happened but um it's just never been too crazy for me so i know that's a privileged thing to say and because i have you know the life that i have with a husband and a good job and all these things like it's easy for me to log off and go touch grass, <laughs> you know? Um, that's not so easy for everyone. That's not so easy for everyone to just to just log off, you know? I think they didn't have the courage to say it in reality. True, a lot of people that write this um, stuff on the internet that they shouldn't would never say it to your face, like never in a million years. They are only a comfortable saying it on the internet. Very, very true. Yeah, 100%, yeah. Oh, don't go run and pull other bitches. What's wrong with you? Y'all all gonna die. Y'all all gonna die. I'm level 32. Are you kidding me? Alright, in this scary house, once again, only we're level 32, so it's not scary no more. Okay. 
Let's glue you. Run outside. Come back here. I can't do that yet. I was someone who said that he would send his boys on me. It's never happened. Yeah, what boys? He probably don't have no boys. Whoever said that probably has does not have any boys whatsoever. So yeah, like that stuff is just it's just not really like that. Okay, just two. Go get them. Yeah, that first pull that we just did, where we killed all those, that was the that was the pull that I knew would happen, and why I was like refusing when it was like time to do this to actually come in here by myself, because I knew that pull would destroy me. Oh my God! Why aren't you going up there? Attack him! We did it. We got the staff! Okay, and I think we turned it in back at the sepulchre. Yeah. Okay, so we'll run back to the sepulchre and then we'll fly over to Terran Mill. Yeah, no, again, I've been, like, really blessed. Like, comments like that, like, oh, I'm gonna send my boys after you, or whatever. Like, I've never had that experience. No one's ever, like, truly, truly doxed me. Um, anything like that. You know? Because there is scary stuff that can happen, but it's just never... I've never had it happen to me. But I'm really quick to, like, shut it down if someone says something that I don't think is comfortable, or, like, I cannot immediately tell their intentions, you know? Like, I'm really quick to, like, leave the conversation or block the person or whatever and not engage. And I think that does have something to do with it. I think the more you engage with it, the more that they feel like, oh, they're they're getting that that need met, whatever the need is from them saying those comments. And then they're more likely to continue doing it. I block everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or mute. Honestly, like on Twitter, I would mute people. I don't even think I ever blocked anyone on Twitter, maybe one or two people, but I would usually just mute it. So then they would think that they were still, I was still seeing the message, but I wasn't. Oh, excuse me, which I think was better. Easier on everybody. When we get to Hillsbrad, at some point, we're going to have to go into the mine. I don't want to go into that mine. That is scary. I think there's hyperspawns in there. That human mine. That's down in, like, the southwest corner. So I think that's where um, Miner Hackett is. I think he's inside the mine. Okay, here's Sepulchre.
All right, we're gonna turn in this gray quest, probably get like no experience. <laughs> but I have to, I have to, I can't skip them. I can't skip them. It just pains me too much. What would you ask of death? Let's see. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's not an upgrade. It's saying the opposite. It's saying my current one is an upgrade to this Trust one. no one. So, I was like, are you kidding me? This old quest? Yeah, the walking, polished walking staff, right? That's a better one? Yeah, okay. All right, anyways, let's fly to Terran Mill. Hello. Okay, we didn't do a whole lot in Terran Mill last time, just killed a bunch of humans, and but we're gonna kill some more humans. Um, while we're flying though, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, we're back, and we're almost there! Okay. <clears throat> Should be more quests for us to accept here, too, in addition to the ones we already have. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. A lot more quests. A lot more quests. Let's pick them up. That's not Victory Hammer Mayfall. Where's Hammer Mayfall? Let's zoom in. Oh, it's right there. I am forsaken. to victory. Strength. All right, here we go. Hecular's Revenge. What now? Okay, that's funny. It's having me kill the turtles without um, picking up the quest. I'm going to pick up the quest. I also need to like clean this out here. Okay, let's some um, let's disenchant some nonsense. I need to clean up. Don't want to sell my soothing spices. That's also a quest item. Wait a second. That's an upgrade. Let's equip that. I must have got that as a random drop.
Okay. What is it? What's for sale? Let's get rid of some of this. Okay, much cleaner. Oh, I've missed some things. Sell you two. Back up to two gold. Two gold. Okay. I'm gonna check something real quick. Right, Lunar, if you're still here, are you streaming today? Okay, let's see what we have. So it says, do we're going to do the Soothing Turtle Bisque. And then we would go kill the Blacksmith. Then do Hecular's Rod. Councilman, okay. Okay, I see what it's having us do. You are? Okay. We're gonna hang on then until you go live. But we're actually gonna end the worlds of the Warcrafts here because there's no, the turtle meat, that's gonna take like 20 minutes to get 10 turtle meats to drop. It's gonna take forever, especially if someone else is farming them too, which they will be. So if you are watching the, uh, well, let me do this. If you're watching the recorded recording on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.